What's up guys, it's Tyler here. Now that I've had this bow for a while, I feel like I can give an honest review about it. So sit back, grab a beer, or if you don't drink beer, grab a soda and some popcorn. And let's get to it. Alright, first off, I'll let you guys know that this is not going to be your typical review. I'm not going to go over every little thing that comes with the kit. I'm just going to focus here on just the bow, things that I liked and things that I did not like. Let's first start off with um, what I liked. Well, it looks cool. And this is my first crossbow, so naturally you want it to look cool, right? And it's also extremely light. I remember picking up this one with other crossbows and thinking, wow, this thing actually is very light in the hands compared to the other ones that shoot at similar speeds. Not only that, but it's extremely small and compact. And their patented soft lock toothbrush thingy actually works really well. Along with the adjustable butt pad, you know, I really did like that, but I do wish that it did extend about another inch. And there's multiple other things I liked, like the finger guard, the anti-dry fire mechanism, and the automatic safety. But these couple of things do seem to be the standard in today's crossbows. Now on to the things I did not like. What I did not like was the scope that came with this bow. It's a barnet scope, and you had to put it way too far forward on the rail to get a clear view of the reticle. The scope that I've swapped it out with is this Excalibur Tax Zone, and so far, I've been very happy with it. Now on to the one thing that bothered me the most about this bow. Now, since it's all a synthetic stock, right there on the rail and where it attaches to the riser, there's a downward slant. I did not see any adverse effect on aero flight, but it's one of those things that I could not take and just bothered the crap out of me. And this bothered me so much that I had to pull out the little old Dremel and do a little bit of redneck engineering to it. I didn't really see any benefits as far as speed and accuracy, but it just made me feel a lot better. All this is fine and dandy, but how's it shoot? I can't really tell you how the headhunters that came with it shoot because I screwed those up the first day that I had them. Ended up damaging a knock and damaging the fletching, so I replaced them with these NAP Quick Fletch and the Parker Knots. I thought they were good, but right when they get past 20 yards, they kind of have a mind of their own. At 30 yards, that's pretty much still in the kill zone, but for a crossbow, that wasn't quite accurate enough for me. So I tried these Carbon Express at 478 grains with a 100 grain fill point at 22 inches. You'll see these guys really shrink the group dramatically. Dang it, I hate it when that happens. That one just hit the knock of that other arrow. So instead of uh, risking any more damage to my arrows, the knocks, I'm just going to shoot one arrow four times. I say the trigger on this is acceptable, but it's not really the best, but you do get used to it. I could probably shrink these groups up a little bit more than what you're about to see, but I am running back and forth at a total of 60 yards every time to retrieve an arrow. And uh, that's pretty much it. Is it worth the money? Uh, I really haven't shot enough crossbows to tell you that, but after this video, I hope you can be the judge of that. So anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.